Hello and welcome back to another episode of Science with Sarah and Dad. And we have a special guest watcher today. We got Grandma over here. Yay! And today we are going to talk about what are we going to talk about? A fucking volcano. Volcanoes. So we are going to do three different kinds of experiments. Let's not put it in our mouth. Mm -hmm. Three different kinds of experiments to show how volcanoes work. Do you know what happens when a volcano erupts? All the lava comes out. Yep. Do you know why it does? Oh, here's our camera person, Hannah. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be on that side of the camera. Sometimes I come out oh. and say hello. I see. And so, hello. on volcanoes, what happens is way down underneath the volcano there's lava which is really just rocks that are liquid form and they're really hot and it builds up with pressure it builds up with pressure so much until it just what explodes so we're gonna do some experiments today to show how that pressure builds up and how volcanoes explode is this the right way for a volcano what do you wrong think? way <laughs> hmm. Because if the lava is on top... If this was the bottom of the world, maybe. Maybe. All right. So let's get set up for our first experiment. Dance break! <laughs> so our first experiment is going to be the classic volcano. What ingredients do we have here? Vinegar. Baking soda. The volcano and a spoon and just some food coloring. Yep. And we have another gift, the Kennedy Kid. <laughs> Super guest. And this is a volcano that we got from where? American Girl. Yep, it's an American Girl science experiment kit because we love science around here, don't yeah. we? <laughs> and so you can make a volcano out of so many different things, uh, lots of different ways to make it, but we happen to have this here. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna use this. So let's talk about what's going to happen. Do you remember many times before we've Wait, talked are about- are eating soup? No. Remember, what's the first rule in doing science experiments? Do we put anything into our mouth? And what the adult says. Yeah, because it could be dangerous putting chemicals in the mouth. We definitely don't wanna do that. Yeah. So remember we've talked about chemical reactions before? So this is going to be a chemical reaction Chemicals. where we're going to mix a dry ingredient with dry. a wet ingredient. Water. And what's going to happen is this is a, a uh, acid and this is a base. And when the two mix, they're actually going to start creating a gas called uh, carbon dioxide. And it, carbon dioxide expands really quickly. Oh, right. okay. And by expanding really quickly, that's how we create pressure. And remember, we talked about pressure earlier. Yeah. And we talked about pressure, and that's how the lava erupts. So, let's start by let's take maybe two of these spoonfuls and putting them inside of okay. here. I'm guessing Sarah's feeling pressure to start this experiment. Oh, good one, Hannah. Thank you. Good job. Maybe let's go one more. That's not going to explode in the house, is it? No. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to see. We did just come back from a shopping spree. All right. So, next we need to vinegar, but let's have a little fun and let's color the vinegar. What do you think? Do you want to just put red or just yellow? Or what happens if we put red and yellow in? I don't know. What color ha do we make if we mix red and yellow? I don't remember. What do you think? Take a guess. Orange? Orange, that's right. Okay. So what do you think? Do you want red, yellow, or orange? Orange. So you want to put a couple of drops? How many drops? Let's go two. Yeah. I think orange. two reds and two yellows would make a okay. good orange color. And Ooh. two reds. It's already starting to look nice. She got a little extra red there. That's Should okay. we mix it or yeah. just let it sit? Well, you can use this the spoon. spoon. The spoon's That's dirty. okay. It's going to react a little bit because there's a little bit of baking soda on here. Look at all those bubbles. That's okay. 
That's All a right. cool now lava. Now we got a nice little orange going here. Yeah, that's a cool lava so, color. Now, Sarah, Ready? you can slowly, we're not going to pour the whole slowly. thing in, but slowly start pouring it in there Sarah's and let's see what happens. Sarah's very bad at doing this because in one video I had to take Oh man, look at it go! Oh my gosh. Take oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. No, not oh it. not too much more. That's good. Whoa. Look at that. That was no more. No more. Also, yeah. also if you want to save it for the next experiment. So that was some nice orange lava. And All if right. you want to be smart, you should put something we'll like a face We'll do that for the next one because the next one it. is going to be even bigger explosion. Whoa. All right. Wow. So let's get set up for the next experiment. Uh, Dance break. All right. So what did you think of that last one? Was that a good one? And I... <laughs> What do you think? Do you think we can make one that explodes even more? What? Now, we're going to add a couple more ingredients to see if we can make an even bigger explosion. So here we have, what's this? From the last video, we know it's baking soda. Yep. What do you think this is? Water. That's right. That's water. And and, vinegar. Yep. And we have some more water in here. And we need so much water. What's this? Soap. Soap. And? Are we washing our hands? Well, washing your hands is always a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But we are not washing our hands in this video. Too bad. I'm, so, I found a really mm -hmm. good smelling soap. The first thing we want to do is, remember last time we put the baking soda in here yeah. uh, as a powder? Yeah. This time we're going to do something called a slurry. <laughs> and we are going to mix the baking soda into the water. Ooh. How many? Let's do two. So this put it into the water. Oh, Sarah, yep, that's just like that. I think that's too much. Okay. That's good. Do that and one more. Really? Yeah. You count that it's as okay. one? I thought it was going to be like two. That's right. That looks like it would be two. And let's mix it around. I do it. I do it. Yeah. I guess it would just make a bigger explosion. Looks like it. All right. Mm -hmm. Now what? What if it's really Let's put just the spoon down. What are we doing? Like, are we still washing our hands? Like, and we are going to pour this into here. That'd be so funny, right? And let me see the spoon. Let's make sure we get all this in here. Work in progress. Oh, it's already erupting. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Now, no, this time, there. we had vinegar. And what did we put in the vinegar last time? Just. Some food red. coloring, right? Yeah. This time we are actually going to put a couple of drops of dish soap. What happens in dish soap when you rub it in your hands? It gets rubber, rubber, rubber. It, gets it makes lots and lots of bubbles, Bubble. right? So we're going to see if we can make even more bubbles with just a little bit of dish soap in the vinegar. Do you want me to take that? We're going to put the water in here to help mix it around a little bit. And now I put the food. Coloring. What do you think? Should we do orange again or just red? Orange. Orange. So I like that orange. Yeah, that was a very pretty orange. One. So we do a couple of drops. One, two. two. Let's do three yellows and two, only two reds. reds. Let's see what happens with that. And what do you think? It's the same orange, but it's a little bit different. One and two. Perfect. Now let's take our spoon and let's mix it around. Ooh, that Ooh. Looks, that's it's like, even prettier orange now, huh? That kind of looks like the tea yeah. I drink in the morning. Hmm. Mm. So this time I think we're going to get an even bigger explosion. That's why we have our little vessel here to capture it all. Ready? But let's good. see. In three, that is a two, good idea. one, pour. It's a good idea to have something <gasps> underneath. Oh my goodness. Look at all those bubbles. Because we don't know. Look at that. It's overflowing. What is it? Overflowing. Can we wow. touch it? Can we touch it? You pour it all in. Sarah. Can we touch it? More, more. Whoa. You can touch it. Yeah. Way to this go, This one's okay Sarah. to touch. And, uh, can I touch it? Yep. Yes. You see? It's really just going to be like vinegary soap. Ow. Why? If you got a cut in your hand, you're going to feel it on the vinegar. You're not helping. Why all right. Why did you say so that, that was... Experiment number two. Let's get set up for experiment number three. It's break. <laughs> so, for our third version of the volcano, third. we have some new things here. But what are we missing? Oh no, the volcano. The volcano. The volcano's not here. Why? But what do we have here instead? Lemon. 
lemons. We are going to use the lemons as the volcano in this one. What? Pretty cool, huh? So, what did we what are the two main ingredients we need to use to make the eruption? Baking soda and what? Vinegar? Vinegar, that's right. But Look, we have no vinegar. Aww. But vinegar is what's known as what? In acid? And guess what's inside of lemons? Acid. Yep. It's called citric acid. So we are going to use the acid inside the lemon to make a lemon volcano. Lemon. What do you think about that, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze it. We're gonna squeeze just a little bit out, not all of it. Like you're making lemonade. Yeah. Do you want, me to, go get the do you want me to go get the sugar? No. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so just <laughs> a little bit. We were making okay. Lemonade. Why not? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Too bad. I like it. Oh, you're doing a good job. All right, that looks good. We'll have to make some after this. Yep, that looks That's good. Really good. Just want to loosen it up a little bit. And we like color in this video, don't Ooh. we? Wait, think should we put in a couple of drops? Orange! Three drops of yellow. Here, hold this. Color. So we're just going to do red this time so we can really see it, okay? Red. So we put a drop of red here red, and red, here red, and red, here. Red, red. Right. And I'll hold this one. So there. Why are you putting it on the lemon? Because now, do you want to hold or do you want to sprinkle the baking soda on top? I'll sprinkle the baking soda. I'll hold these. Ready? Yep. So if you grab the spoon and start <laughs> sprinkling some baking soda, Question. let's see. Question. Sprinkle more, sprinkle more. Question, Daddy. If I touch it, will my finger hurt? If After you have a cut on your finger, yeah. Look, uh, do you oh. see it exploding? Uh oh. Oh, I do. After what happened and last so time. And so, Sarah, why don't you grab the lemon juice that we squeezed lemon. out and pour a little bit on top and see what happens. A little bit on one and a little bit on the other. Whoa. Look at that. Other. Whoa. Look. Whoa. Should I zoom in? Okay. Wow. That's a lot of baking powder. Yep. We're going to pour some more, and I think what? these are going to be, maybe I can going squeeze this trash. and get even more out. They're going to be going wow. in the trash. Whoa, look at that overflowing. Look at that ooze. Wow. Look at that ooze. Whoa. So you're like sprinkling on, but it's just like falling off. Wow, Sarah. You look like, Daddy, you look like you're playing with bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get more. All right, so how many experiments did we do? Three. Three. And we did how many with this volcano? Two. And what else did we use? Lemon. Was that kind of cool that we could yeah. use a lemon? Yeah, the lemon part <clears throat> was right. cool. So of the three experiments, which one was your favorite? Hmm. I have to say the lemon one because that one was really cool. I think I use lemon. It was kind I of surprising, right? I think mine was probably the one where we had the big explosion the second one yeah, yeah that, that one's kind of cool too yeah i like how i'm much. torn between the second one and the lemon one i thought Ooh. the lemon one was kind of neat all right so say thank you for watching another episode of science with sarah and dad y'all